<laughs> I don't do this a lot. Big fan, I see. Is it everyone? Everyone with taste buds. Do you want one? Sure, thanks. Jack went out to get some hard drives. Yeah, I know. She asked if I needed anything. Really? Yeah. Huh. This must be getting to her. <laughs> Making her soft. <laughs> Listen, about last night, this house is obviously getting to me, affecting my subconscious or something, I don't know. I don't even know what's going on anymore. Jack seems unfazed. Um, seems to think it's all just history. She doesn't even feel anything when she's see. I don't understand it. And you, I feel like you know what I'm talking about, but you wouldn't even tell me even if you did, you know? And then, am I rambling? A little bit. <laughs> How are you feeling now? I'm good. I can almost convince myself it was a dream. Paris, I screamed like that. Nah, don't be. Hey, tell me about the woman. Mm. Feels so surreal now. Tell me anyway. Well, when I turned over, she was there, studying me. She looked angry. She was moving her mouth like like she was saying something, but there was no sound, so. What did she look like? She was wrinkled and haggard. Face was pale and gaunt. She had straggly hair that fell in clumps around her face. Her eyes, they were just hollow pits. Intimidating. Do you think she was real? Mm -mm. I keep asking myself the same thing. Jack seems to think I didn't ask what Jack thinks. I want to know what you think. She was real. Sorry I took so long. Apparently the guy at the hardware store will do just about anything to talk to another human being rather than a tool. Although in this town, the tool might be better company. I did get the hard drives and the tape that you wanted though. Mm, okay. What are you two up to? Breakfast, chatting. How cozy. Great. I'm gonna go get some work done, but you know where to find me if you need anything. Oh, sorry. What? Well, had I had known you two needed some privacy, I would have stayed out longer. Jack, it's not like that. She's actually okay. You get to know her, you might just see a different side to her. I would rather move in with the guy at the hardware store than spend more time with her. Can you make a bit of an effort, please, for me? Why do I always have to be the one to make an effort? Because I asked nicely. And? And you love me. <laughs> and? Oh, never need another end before. Well, you don't usually use your wiles to coerce me into befriending a psychopath like Bellatrix Lestrange Zach. in there. Oh, okay, fine. I'll do it, okay? But you owe me. I can live with that. And you can start by working off by helping me bring in the rest of the bags. Perfect. And a back rub. <laughs> don't push that, Murph. Fine. I would have felt rubbed. Don't. 
smelled your feet? 